Hi, today we're going to practice multiplying decimals using traditional multiplication. Multiplying decimals is very similar to traditional multiplication. You are going to multiply like normal and ignore the decimals and we'll add them back in later at the end of the problem. So let's get started with 4.2 times 1.9. Again, we're just going to multiply like normal. So 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 4 is 36, plus 1 is 37. Don't forget to use your 0 placeholder. 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 4 is 4. We'll go ahead and add up our totals. 8 plus 0 is 8, 7 plus 2 is 9, and 3 plus 4 is 7. Now we have to add our decimals back in. The key is to count the number of numbers behind your decimals in the problem. So one, two numbers are behind the decimals in the problem, and you need the same amount in your answer. So one, two. And our final answer becomes 7.98. All right. We're going to try a new problem, 12.3 times 4.6. And again, we're just going to multiply like normal, ignore the decimals until the very end. So 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 is 13. And 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7. We're done with the 6, use the 0 placeholder. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And 4 times 1 is 4. I'm going to add up our totals here. 8 plus 0 is 8. 3 plus 2 is 5. 7 plus 9 is 16, and 4 plus 1 is 5. Don't forget to add your decimals in. We have 1, 2 numbers behind the decimal in our problem, so we need 1, 2 numbers behind the decimal in our answer. Alright, I have two problems I want you to try, so pause the video while you complete the problems, and then press play to see if you got the right answer. All right, four times two is eight. Three times two is six. Done with the two, use our zero placeholder. Five times four is 20. Five times three is 15, plus two is 17. We're gonna add up our totals. Eight plus zero is eight. 6 plus 0 is 6, 7, and 1. Again, we have two numbers behind the decimals in our, a in our problem, so we need two numbers behind the decimals in our answer. So our final answer is 17.68. All right, last problem here. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. And 1 times 2 is 2. Done with our one, zero placeholder. Five times six is 30. Five times one is five, plus three is eight. And five times two is 10. Add up our totals. Six plus zero is six. One plus zero is one. Two plus eight is 10. One plus zero is one. And one, bring it down. Again, we had, have two numbers behind the decimal in our problem, so I need one, two numbers behind the decimal in our answer. And our final answer becomes 110.16. All right, you're not done yet. I do want to see if you can remember the steps to multiplying fractions. Pause the video and see if you can remember the proper steps for multiplying fractions and then press play to see if you got them correct. 
All right, I hope you remember that for multiplying fractions, you just have to multiply straight across. So five times two is 10, and seven times three is 21. Our last step of fractions is always to make sure that the problem is simplified. There is no number that we can divide both 10 and 21 by, so that is our final answer. Again, I hope you multiplied straight across. So 7 times 1 is 7. 10 times 2 is 20. Check to make sure you can't simplify. And our final answer is 7 20th. Make sure you finish the back of this worksheet before you turn it in.